Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I have a video for you. Based, um, I'm going to be swatching and giving my first thoughts on this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection palette. This is the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 3. I got this from the BoxyCharm um, add-on shop. It looks like this. And look how huge that mirror is. It's so big. And for anyone who has BoxyCharm, um, if you have the BoxyCharm premium where instead of $25 a month, um, it's $35 a month, you get either this palette or I think volume one in your July box. So that's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I got this on the add-on shop, and when the add-on shop opens, everyone should check out the add-on shop. The add-on shop opens on July 12th, um, and that's also the same day that the choice opens for the August box. And there's so many cheap things, so many, like, this palette's normally $60, and it was $24. So I bought it for $24. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this how I always swatch. I'm going to start with row one, do all of them, and then, you know, talk about the palette. So none of these shades have names. They have um, numbers and letters. So it's like, this is A, one through five. This is B, one through five, C, D, and E. So, yeah. All right, so. Let's get to swatching. I've never tried anything from Anastasia Beverly Hills other than maybe like a lip gloss. So this is my first eyeshadow palette. And so far seems pretty nice. That color is kind of not very good, but it's like it's a neon color. That's why it's not swatching very well. It needs a white base. Ooh, that color is not bad. These mattes that I'm swatching, because like this first entire row is nothing but mattes. Um, the mattes are very, very nice. They're very soft. This is a matte, but it's got some a little bit of glitter in it. So there's that. So it has a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, these, uh, these are not bad. This is row one, starting with this one. This is A1, um, A2, A3, A4, and A5. A4 is a matte, but it does have some glitter in it. And A1, it really needs a white base. So this is the first row. I really like A5, and I really like A3 and A2. All right, so I'm going to pause, wipe this off, and I'll be right back. And I'm back. Here's my hand. A little bit of A5 stained my hand right here, but not terrible. But it was actually a very bright shade, so that doesn't surprise me. Now we're going to go on with this row, which is the B row. And this one does have a shimmer. Um, it has a shimmer and it has another matte with glitter in it. This palette is a 25 pan palette. It is mostly mattes, just throwing that out there really quickly. There's only seven shimmers and then there are two. Yes, there only appears to be two mattes with glitter in it and then everything else is just plain matte. So just an FYI, if you like palettes that have a lot of shimmers, this would not be the palette for you because out of 25 shades, there is only seven shimmers. So, okay. The very first one in this row is a shimmer. Like I said, and for one, it swatched beautifully. And it's very, very pretty. That is a very, very pretty shade. And it was very, very smooth. So the um, shimmers are very nice. Like I said, the mattes are really nice. They, they're really soft. And the one shimmer I've swatched so far was also very nice. So the, 
this palette does seem to have some very nice shades, some very nice, um, sorry, my eye itched, um, some very nice shadows, very nice formula. Here is row two. So B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5. B1 is our first shimmer. Very smooth, very pretty. This was a matte with, this is the other matte with glitter in it, is this green color. Um, you know what? Both of the shimmers, both of the uh, mattes with glitter in them were green. Then this pink color is pretty nice. This is a really pretty kind of purpley shade in this matte right here. This matte um, kind of like tan-ish color is very, very pretty. So I'm going to pause, wipe, and then I'll be back. All right, I am back. Here is my hand nice and clean. And now we're going to move on to C row right here. Really, really pretty. I like this, um, the formula of these shadows a lot. The mattes are very um, smooth. The shimmers are very smooth. And everything seems to be really pigmented. Ooh, that is beautiful. Ooh, yes. And everything seems to be like really nicely pigmented. Like, yeah, even stuff that seems like it might be a little bit patchy. Not really patchy, per se, but, like, you could really build some of these up, I think. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, this one. Just stunning. All right. This is row C. And oh my gosh. So C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. C1, whole, and C5. Oof. And then I really like C3 right here in the middle. And C2 is also very pretty, um, but I can see that one maybe staining slightly just because of that really bright red. Um, this color is also very pretty. Like, all the colors are pretty, but C5 and C1 and C3 are probably my favorite. But, oh my god, those shimmers. Oof, that's probably my favorite shimmer shade so far. This one or this one, they're just stunning. All right, so I'm going to pause, wipe, and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. Here's my hand. The um, C2 and C4 were a little hard to get off, but it didn't take that much work. All right, so now we're going to go down into this row, which is D row. Just so pretty. Ooh, these shimmers though, I wish there was a few more because they are just stunning. I mean, I love the mattes though as well, like these mattes are beautiful and pigmented and just pretty, but my god, these, some of these shimmers, these shimmers are just freaking gorgeous. You know, a whole palette just of these shimmers. All right, here we go. Here is D row, starting off with D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5 right here. D5 is kind of a, there you go. You can see a little better right there. All right, so D2, D3, or I'm sorry, D2, D4, and D5, which are the three shimmers in this row. D4, look how stunning, and D5 right next to it. Oh my god, so pretty. This whole row is just gorgeous. The green is really pretty too. Like, I really like the green. But this whole row is just 
beautiful. Beautiful, I can see this being a favorite row. Oh yes, so I'm going to pause, clean this off, and I'll be right back. And I'm back, here's my hand. It's starting to get a little stainy just from all the different colors. And also it's very glittery now because of all of the glitter, obviously. Well, but this is our last row. So this is E row right here. So let's get into it. Well, I wonder, like I said, I have never used any kind of Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palettes before. Could anyone tell me, are the Nor is the Norvina line, is that the same formula for like their regular line as well, or are they different? Because I don't want to say, oh my God, I love it, and then buy like a bunch of like the regular just Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff and it's like actually a different formula. Is it the same formula? I hope it's the same formula because I really want to get a few of their palettes if this is the formula. This formula is just gorgeous. This is e -row. There was only one shimmer in e -row, which was E. Well, hold on. E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. E5 is the shimmer. Look at that beautiful purple shimmer it is so stunning the yellow it's okay I could work with it um, which is e4 e3 is that one in the middle that's kind of um like a bright orangey pink that one's really pretty e2 I'm still trying to figure out if this is brown or more red I think it's like a brownish red it's really pretty and then e1 is that green Really, really pretty colorful row. Really pretty. Um, I'm going to pause, take this off, and then I'll be back with my final. All right, all back. Here's my hand. Um, everything came off pretty well. Like I said, there's a few little stains here and there, and my hand's just really glittery now. But again, this is what the palette looks like. <clears throat> I'm actually really excited to use this. Um, yeah, there are a few colors in here that I probably won't use much, if at all, but, you know, for the price that this palette was, um, when I bought it from BoxyCharm, like I said, this is a $60 palette and it was only $24, um, I thought, what the heck, I'll give them a go, because I've been wanting to try Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, um, and I just thought this one was really pretty. I love all the neutral mattes. I know there's not a ton of the neutral mattes, but I love them all. I like that they were included. Um, then they also, they have the neutral shimmers in here as well, which are really nice. Um, all the shimmers are super nice. I'm actually, I'm slightly bummed there's only seven shimmers in this palette because the shimmers are freaking beautiful and they are so creamy so soft and pigmented they're just so stunningly beautiful the mattes like I said are very smooth as well beautiful they're pigmented um I've been having a string of bad luck lately with um palettes where I'm not familiar with their formula where their mattes are just kind of lackluster to me but the shimmers are, are good but the mattes are not I've had a couple palettes um, that I've gotten in BoxyCharm lately that I just didn't end, ended up not liking. Um, so I'm actually really, really happy that these mattes were good. Uh, the shimmers, like I said, the shimmers are beautiful. I kind of wish there was a few more, but at the same time, I get it. So yeah, this palette I think is really worth it. If you like um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I would pick this up. I know they've got a whole bunch. I think there's five of these all together, these, these Pro Palettes. Um, like I said, this is Pro Palette, Pro Palette Volume 3. I also think they have mini Pro Palettes as well that are considerably cheaper. If $60 is too, you know, big a price point or if the palette itself is just too big because it is 
really large. It's the size of my head. I'm, I think they have smaller little nine pan ones that are like $27, $25, something like that, less than 30. Um, so if that's a little bit more up your alley, that's also cool. There's a couple of those I actually want to get too, but these are really great. Like just swatching it, I'm already in love. So I can't wait to use this and show you guys a couple looks. Um, cause since there is such a color, um, since there's so much in this, I would probably do like one eye, each eye a different look, um, possibly, or maybe I'll just, you know what I mean? I can see myself filming quite a few videos with quite a few looks with this because of all the variety. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.